In today's video, I'm going to show you the locations of all 48 version exclusive Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Now, both versions, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, have 24 Pokemon exclusive to each of their versions. In today's video, we will be looking at how you can find them all in your own copy of either Scarlet or Violet. A lot of the version exclusives share the same locations in the Paldea region in their respective games so where this is present we will cover both version exclusives at the same time when showing you these areas that the Pokemon spawn in. The Tyranitar line is exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet and the Salamence line is exclusive to Pokemon Violet. In their respective games you will be able to find the first and second stage evolutions of these Pokemon in the same areas of your game. In particular, Larvitar and Bagon can be found in the early stages of your playthrough in the South Province Area 5 area, Larvitar of course spawning in Pokemon Scarlet and Bagon spawning in Pokemon Violet. Lavatar and Bagon also appear in a number of different areas around the Paldea region. In the Alfaranada Cavern, the Acedo Desert, the Dali Zappa Passage, East Province Area 3 and West Province Area 1. Pupitar, the second stage evolution of Lavatar is in Pokemon Scarlet and Shelgon which is the second stage evolution of Bagon is in Pokemon Violet. These can be found in Alfaranada Cavern, Tyranitar in Pokemon Scarlet and Salamence in Pokemon Violet can also be found in the post game through 5 and six star terror raids. Drifloon is a Pokemon Scarlet exclusive while its counterpart is Misdreavious in Pokemon Violet. As both are ghost types, they will only appear at night. Drifloon in Pokemon Scarlet and Misdreavious in Pokemon Violet can be found in various areas through the Paldea region, including the Dali Zappa Passage, East Province Area 2, the Glissado Mountains, all of the South Province areas, the Tag Tree Thicket and West Province Area 1. Driftblame in Pokemon Scarlet, Miss Magius in Pokemon Violet can be found in similar areas although they will also appear in 4 and 5 star terror raids in their respected games. Stunky is the next Scarlet exclusive we will look at. This poison type can be found in the South Province Area 3 and 5 as well as in the West Province Area 2. Its evolution can be found in certain areas around the Casaroya Lake and also through 4 star terror raids. Gulpin and Swallot are the version counterparts in Pokemon Violet. Gulpin can be found in the East Province Area 1 and South Province Area 3, as well as in the 2 star terror raids. Swallot can be found in areas around Lake Casaroya, as well as in 4 and 5 star terror raids. The pseudo legendaries Dino, Zuelos, and Hydreigon are exclusives to Pokemon Scarlet. Dino can be found in the Alforanada Cavern, the Dali Zappa Passage, Glissado Mountains and North Province Area 2. Dino is an extremely rare spawn, so it may take a while to appear, although to increase your chances you can always use a sandwich recipe to boost dark or dragon encounters to have better luck finding this Pokemon. Zuelos Dino's evolution can be found in Area 0, the Glissado Mountains and North Province Area 2, as well as in 4 star terror raids whereas Hydreigon can be found in the post game through 5 and 6 star terror raids. Skrelp, the water and poison type exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet and its counterpart Clauncher can be found in Pokemon Violet. These Pokemon in their respective versions can be found in the North, East, South and West Palladian Sea areas of the region as well as 2 star terror raids which you will have access to at the beginning of your playthrough. Dragalge can be found as a rare spawn only in the North Paldean Sea in Pokemon Scarlet and Clauncher Loritza can spawn in the North and South Palladian Sea in Pokemon Violet. Both of these Pokemon can appear in their respected versions through 5 and 6 star raids as well. Oranguru, a Pokemon Scarlet exclusive, whilst Persimian is its counterpart exclusive for Pokemon Violet. These can be located in the North Province Area 2 areas and the Tag Tree Thicket in their respected versions. You will also be able to encounter Oranguru and Persimian through 3 and 5 star terror raids, depending on the version of the game you have. Stone Journey can be found in abundance in the Acedo Desert as well as four star terror raids around the Paldea region and this will be an exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet. Its counterpart Ice Q is an exclusive to Pokemon Violet and can be found in the North Paldean Sea and North Province Area 3. The Dragapult line is exclusive to Pokemon Violet. Droopy can be found in a number of different locations around the Paldea region at night in the East Province Area 2 and 3 as well as the Glissado Mountains. 
North Province areas 1, 4, 5 and 6 and West Province areas 2 and 3. Draclock can be found in the Casaroya Lake, the Glacida Mountains and North Province areas 2, 3 and 4 at night with Dragapult only appearing in 5 and 6 star terror raids in the post game of Pokemon Violet. Although Paldean Taurus is available in both Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it does have two exclusive forms depending on the version that you've got. In Pokemon Scarlet, you will have access to the Fighting and Fire type Taurus, and in Pokemon Scarlet, you will have access to the Fighting and Water type Taurus. Both of these variants can be found in groups of Taurus located in these areas on the Paldean map. The other version exclusives to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are Armor Rouge and Serilege. In both versions of the game, you're going to be able to obtain its pre-evolution Child Cadet. This can be found in lots of places across Paldea. This Pokemon will spawn in all of the South, East and West province areas of the Paldea map, but it is a rare spawn, so coming across it can be quite tricky, although it shouldn't be too difficult to find. Now once you have one, depending on the version of the game you've got, you're going to want to head to Zapico Town which is west of Lavincia in the East Province Area 3. From the Zapico Pokemon Center, head east until you reach the NPC character standing in front of the water fountain. Talk to them and they will ask you for the trade of a particular item. In Pokemon Violet, you will need to trade 10 Sinistee chips. Sinistee can be found in a number of areas at night in the Paldea region. Around ruins outside of Alfrenada, in the South Province Area 6 is also another area and these are quite common areas where you'll find it. You just need to beat 10 of these either in battle or using the auto battle feature to collect the 10 Sinistee chips that you are required. Once you have them, head back to Zapico and speak to this NPC character who will trade you these items for the malicious armor. And once you have this item, if you use it on your Char Cadet, it will evolve into Serilege, the ghost and fire type Pokemon, which is exclusive to Pokemon Violet. Now, in your version of Pokemon Scarlet, you will need to get a similar amount of items, but this time for 10 Bronze Ore Fragments. That means like the Senesty, you'll need to find some Bronzong out in the wild and either battle them normally or through the auto battle feature. Bronzong are quite common and can be found in ruined areas across the south, east and west of Paldea. In particular, the East Province Area 2, South Province Area 2 and West Province Area 1 and 2, you will find plenty of Bronzong to beat, again just using the actual battle function or auto battle function to beat these and collect the Bronzong fragments. When you've got 10 of these, return back to Zapico, speak to the NPC character and this time you will get given the auspicious armor. Use this on your Chalk Cadet and it will evolve into Armor Rouge. Both Serilege and Armor Rouge are exclusive to each version. Armor Rouge exclusive to Scarlet and Serilege exclusive to Violet. Next, we will cover the Paradox Pokemon that are exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. You will only be able to access these Pokemon in the very late stages of your playthrough in Area Zero. For this section of the video, we will cover the areas of what Pokemon in each version you will be able to access. Great Tusks and Iron Treads, the ancient and future forms of Donphan are the only Paradox Pokemon that can be found outside of Area Zero. These Pokemon were the Titan Pokemon you will face in the quest to find the Herba Mystica on one of your main story paths. And after it's defeated, you will be able to return to the Acedo Desert and battle either one of them depending on the version you've got. The other area you will be able to find Great Tusks and Iron Treads is in Area Zero in the central cave system near Area 4. Now in Area Zero from Area 1, you will be able to catch Screamtail, the ancient form of Jigglypuff, Slitherwing, the ancient form of Volcarona, and Brute Bonnet, the ancient form of Amoongus in Pokemon Scarlet. In Pokemon Violet, in the same areas, you will be able to catch Iron Hands, the future form of Hariyama, Iron Moth, the future form of Volcarona, and Iron Bundle, the future form of Delibird. In the second area in Area Zero, this is where you will be able to catch Iron Thorns in Pokemon Violet, which is the future form of Tyranitar, and Sandy Shocks in Pokemon Scarlet, which is the past form of Magneton. The next area is the hidden cave system in Area 3. If you follow this route from the base camp in Area 3, you will be able to enter this hidden cave along the left-hand wall of Area 0. 
and in here you will find Roaring Moon in Pokemon Scarlet and Iron Valiant in Pokemon Violet, the ancient forms of Salamence and future form of Gallade respectively. Next if we enter the underground area, the entrance is straight in front of the Area 3 base camp, you will be able to encounter Grey Tusks in Pokemon Scarlet and Iron Treads in Pokemon Violet. You will also find Iron Juggalus, the future form of Hydreigon in Pokemon Violet and Fluttermane, the ancient form of Mistrevious in Pokemon Scarlet. It is worth noting at the very bottom of this cave system in Area 4, if you approach this particular ramp, you will be able to get a second copy of your box legendary. In Pokemon Violet, you will be able to catch another Mariodon, and in Pokemon Scarlet, you will be able to catch another Coriodon. Both of these Pokemon will be set at level 72 and you're able to trade these to other games unlike your original ride Pokemon you obtain at the beginnings of your game. And that is all 48 version exclusive Pokemon that you're able to catch across Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Of course, if you have the version exclusives, you're going to need to find a friend to trade with to get the opposite version Pokemon. But I hope you found this video useful and have a lot of luck hunting out these version exclusives in your own respected version of Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. Thanks so much for tuning in. If the video has been helpful, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new to stay up to date with all of our latest. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and until next time I'll see you later bye bye